Hello and welcome everyone. This is your friend Chris from England with another special lesson for the Learn English As Easy As Pie Facebook page. And thanks again to Maj Taba Yagubi for sharing this. Today I wanted to discuss with you something really important. There was a recent article on the BBC about something called Britishisms. And these are British words which are used in America. So this can help me explain to you something very important, which is the difference between British English and American English. So if you come to the UK, you are going to find some words and expressions which are different to the English speaking in the US. I think this is important, but don't get too stressed because there are not many differences. There is not a big problem. We can understand each other really well but it can help you a lot. If you go to the US and you use the American words, or if you come to the UK and use the British words, it can really improve your level of English in that country. So let's start then. And if you look in the YouTube description or on Facebook, you can find there at the top the BBC article. So please click on that because I'm going to discuss some of the things they mention and then some of my own points as well. But that article is really, really great for you to read. So please have a look at that and join me as I talk about some of the most important Britishisms. The first one is autumn. This is a noun. And this is the British word for the season between summer and winter. So now we are in October in the UK. We are in autumn. In the US, they call this fall. In the UK, it's autumn. Cheeky. This is an adjective. Normally, we will use it to refer to children who are being a bit naughty or disrespectful, like uh, that lad's a bit cheeky. But we sometimes use it to describe other friends as well as a bit of fun. Cheers. This one is really important in the UK. It means um, similar to salut in Spanish or santé in French. When you have the drinks and you are celebrating, we say cheers. But it can also mean goodbye or thank you. You can use it in those three main ways. Cheers. And that one's very useful to know in the UK. Fancy. It's a verb. And there are two kind of meanings, but both similar. One is, and it's quite useful if you are young and perhaps you are attracted to a girl or a boy, you can say, I fancy them. And it, it can also mean like, um, I want or I would like something like, I really fancy a pint of beer. I really want a pint of beer. Flat. This is the British word for an apartment. So you can have a block of flats, you can rent a flat, a small place where you live. Holiday. In America, they say vacation. In the UK, we say holiday. So if you go to school and you have the break in the summer, you have summer holidays. If you are going on a trip to a different country, you are going on a foreign holiday. In it. This word uh, I really love, it is very much slang and it's a contraction of isn't it. We use it normally at the end of sentences. So there are some examples there you can read. It's very hot today, isn't it? it means it's very hot today, isn't it? Or you can use it as a kind of confirmation. I'll call you later, isn't it? it means I will call you later, definitely. And that one's quite important in the UK. You might hear people say it, but I guess it's quite difficult to understand as well. Loo, slang synonym for toilet. And this is, again, very important. You are likely to hear this in the UK and you can use it yourself. Like, where is the loo? Means, where is the toilet? Very common, that one. Two words which you can use to describe someone who is a bit silly or stupid. Muppet, and numpty. They are both nouns and both mean something like a stupid person, but 
they're not very rude so if someone is messing around or being silly you can call them uh, you can say oh you muppet or you numpty but they should not be very offended it, they are not bad words and finally q a noun and a verb and it refers to for example uh, when there are problems with the banks we make the queues outside the long lines of people waiting to go in the british people like me we love queuing so the noun is the line of people is a queue and the people are queuing so if i'm in the line i am queuing that's the verb so in the uk we have a lot of cues we really like that so that's another useful one to know those are the ones i picked out to discuss with you especially but they are only an introduction i think all of those are very important but there are many more so in order to find out about the others please read the rest of that article or there is also a British English accent training video I put the link to that near the top <coughs> excuse me near the top of the description as well which can give you a more basic introduction to some of the basic differences between British English and American English and uh, you can read all about these in the YouTube description or on Facebook as well. So I really recommend, if you are a distance learning, that you learn the differences between British English and American English. But they're not so important, OK? You, we can still understand you, but it can really help you to improve your level. So give it a good go. And I must say a big thanks to the BBC because I used their article a lot. It wasn't really my work. And of course, again, many thanks to Mojtaba Yagubi and the Learn English As Easy As Pie Facebook page. I have finished this lesson now. I hope it has helped you to understand and, give, and has given you an introduction to British English and American English. If you want to learn more about British English, you can uh, check out my YouTube channel or a Facebook group a Twitter account and blogs on WordPress and Tumblr. The links are in the YouTube description. You are welcome to use all of those. So this is the end now. My name is Chris. I'm from England and many thanks to you for watching today. I wish you good luck with your English. Keep studying hard and you are going to do really well. Especially keep using the uh, Learn English as easy as Pi Facebook page. They can help you a lot. So I will be back soon. I have more videos to make. I'm sure we will be sharing them in the next few weeks. But for now, all the best from the UK. My greetings to you. Take care and I will see you next time.